The Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honourable Benjamin Kalia, has urged for synergy among the three branches of government to create a suitable national constitution for the country's growth and development. Kalia opened a two-day retreat for legislative aides in Abuja, urging them to contribute to the sources of the executive legislature and the judiciary. You must continue to hold our standard in administering the office. Efficiency, professionalism, and ethical considerations should guide our interactions and decision-making processes. You are not only custodians of my office, like I've been said here over and over again, but also ambassadors for our nation, our nation's democratic values. So you must carry it with pride. You must represent me and represent the office and the nation. An essential aspect of your duties lies in economic advisory. We are taxed with dealing with complex issues surrounding projects and budgets. This duty requires an in-depth understanding of our national economy, like one of the speakers mentioned a few minutes ago, strong analytical skills, and a commitment to promoting sustainable economic growth. Now the clerk of the National Assembly urged our legislative aides to perform their functions professionally while EU ambassadors and ECOWAS are promised assistance in electoral reforms, democracy and inclusivity, particularly regarding women's participation. On one hand, the retreat is organized to provide senior legislative heads with opportunities to engage in conversation that foster intra and the inter-chamber synergy in the National Assembly with the aim of achieving success and on the other hand it is to enhance the intellectual abilities and skills of senior legislative heirs to facilitate effective collaboration and enhance the delivery of legislative services. In conclusion, I am confident that this power part retreat will reshape your thinking and significantly contribute your capacity development to accelerate increased productivity towards accomplishing the legislative agenda that the People's House has set to achieve. Three of these key areas where we are ready to synergize uh, our efforts with you. First, elections. As the largest democracy in Africa, Nigeria is critical to strengthen democratic governance in West Africa where democracy is under threat. Strengthening and deepening Nigeria's democracy is key to reverse the situation and send a powerful signal to the region. So the Honorable Deputy Speaker, we look forward to working together with you to synergizing our efforts to further strengthening and improving the electoral process in Nigeria based on the lessons learned from the general election of 2023. Now, former Deputy Speaker's advice legislative aides to now remain loyal to their principles for successful constitutional duties during our two day retreat ending in Abuja tomorrow. Members, because most of the people, 65% of these aides, I don't believe that the right one of them is trying to personally. Look at me, I don't trust they are given this responsibility. At the end of the day, you will find another block writing letters to agencies seeking for one favor or the other without the concept or even knowledge of the chief of staff, let alone the deputy speaker. And this brings down the image and reputation of the institution we all are working for, that we are benefiting. I want to beg of all of us not to find ourselves to that. The deputy speaker has higher responsibility than you have in the Senate because it chairs the committee of the whole, which is a very, 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 very important responsibility. And so you can't chair the committee of the whole alone. You know. The committee of the whole means the deputy speaker is supposed to be knowledgeable on several subjects, monetary, economy, security, agriculture, and so that's why it has its so the aides are supposed to help the deputy speaker in research and bringing his attention to things that he can do. Hello. 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.